Any child that grew up during the 80s is familiar with what happened in the hostage situation that we literally had to work our ass off to get some people back who were American and human. I think that was one of the first times that a large group of people were commandeered by a country that didn't really have a right to do that. But as you know, every year there's always some sort of hostage situation. And generally speaking, it comes out okay until we end up seeing the impact of the day. What I'm talking about is that people don't have the right to take you or me or anyone else hostage. People also don't have the right to interfere with our election process, and yet that is what Trump has done. And that certainly impacted America in the way that it processes as American Inc. America Inc. is the entire nation's productivity in the world and how we rank and how we stand in front of other nations to make sure that every boy and every girl is safe. When we talk about these things, we also know that there are megalomine type of children that come out of societies that have no moral high ground. In other words, they do not practice any form of religion other than hate. And that is something America cannot abide on because we have so many people who come to America and so many people who have lived and resided and served in America of different nationalities and different varieties. But the problem in America is how people interfere like they did to me this past year in being able to be, perform and engage in the electoral process. And even today, we have people trying to interfere with my rights to engage in the political process because when they shut off my Twitter account, it totally took away one of my best ways to get news. And in America, we have the right to freedom of assembly, so if I want to be Democrat Party, like this big oaf of a, of a mental health liar who's actually a policeman of the old ways, puttering around the community trying to see what he can see for the, the community of police, he was muttering all that shit off at me and really trying to still play mental health at me. And openly, that's just not right. I don't know that man from Adam and he doesn't have the right to comment on my political leanings, but either way, what my political leanings are of the day don't belong to anyone else but me. So when they interfered with my Twitter account to engage in a moral conversation with our within our communities, which has been our lawful right since John Adams was really running in that race for president, which, you know, was way, way, way back when, we certainly have a difficult situation that we don't have the right to participate in the nation of, of elections and politics and other important issues of the day. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what is and isn't real. What is real is that every human being has the right to work. What is also real is that we have a lot of human beings who do not even bother to go to work because of the new leanings of an American presidency and an American White House that says we will just make it easier for everyone to, well, abuse the situation. And that's not always wise, but sometimes people of incredible wealth, like 12 million in the bank, don't really understand the humility and the poverty of of real people's lives.